Lincoln family. This is Tempest here, back with another video. I'm Tempest of Temp's Thoughts, and on this channel, I like to share my thoughts on all things finance, motherhood, and life-related topics. So if that's something that may interest you, please consider subscribing and turn on your post notifications so you do not miss a thing. So today I will be cash stuffing. It's supposed to be $918, but I think I may have an extra $5, not completely sure. But I may have a little bit of extra money. This cash stuffing coincides with my March 3rd budget with temp video. So my budget is over on that video. I'll make sure to leave a card here for you to go and view that. So let's get right into the cash stuffing. So this wallet here is from the Budget Mom. This is her full effects like cash envelope wallet. And I got this, I wanna say 2020. Yeah, so I had this a little while. I'm really ready. I think I said this before, but I'm really ready to change my style. But I'm trying to wait until after the wedding to purchase stuff because all this money we're saving, the first paycheck after the wedding, I think it's going to be like my birthday, my 30th birthday paycheck, and I cannot wait because I'm probably not saving no money, just keeping it real, okay? We are going to treat ourselves, okay? I'm turning 30, what? <laughs> Anywho, I'm already off topic, so <laughs> let's get right into it. So food is getting a hundred dollars. And as you guys know, I use the budget mom's budget by paycheck workbook as well. So she has the cash envelope breakdown that I use right here. So this tells me what denominations I'm putting in which envelopes and it helps me break everything down from there. So I know that food is getting $100, which would be five tens and ten fives. That's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. And guys, guess what? I actually have leftover cash. I never have leftover money, but can I be honest with you? So I went to stay with my parents for a week. And when I go to my parents' house, they spoil me. I don't really pay for anything. So every time we went out to eat, my mom bought groceries, everything. So that's really the only reason why I have leftover. But listen to this. So... 15 of this is really not left over because, yeah, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. So today I got paid and they brought the funnel cake truck to my apartment, right? And we went and brought a funnel cake and we gave the guy like an extra tip on top of that. So 15 of this dollars is really for my envelope because I actually forgot I had money, like money left, right? So I took it out of the money before I cash stuffed it. I hope that makes sense. So this is really supposed to go back with the cash stuffing money. But I still have leftover. I have $3, guys. Crazy. So we're going to put this to the side here. And we'll figure out what to do with that in a little bit. But I am excited about that $3. Because I like never have rollover. <laughs> it could have been 18 That's the crazy part. That is the crazy part. So LJ is getting $20. Oh, hold on. Let me put my food money in my envelope. LJ gets 20. Oh, and guys, I do have more rollover. Oh, I forgot. I have $11 in my meat envelope. So originally last paycheck, I budgeted $25. 
Um, so yeah, and I only spent nine. Look at me. <laughs> but this time, my meat envelope is getting $110 because I am doing a friendship staycation with my college best friend. We're just trying to rekindle our friendship and keep it going because just like a romantic relationship, it's important to do so. Cause you have to make sure you stay connected and spend time together and enjoy yourselves so that's why i need some monies because we are going to enjoy ourselves go out get drinks and food and have fun i am really excited about it like really 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 excited so 110 dollars and how am i breaking that down Okay, I hope I got the correct denominations, but we are just going to try this. 20, 40, 60, 81, and I do five, 10. So my total, and I'm just going to keep this money in the envelope, in my meat envelope until after my staycation, and anything I have left over, I'll probably put it towards my savings challenge envelope 20 40 60 81 10 15 21 so i have 121 dollars that is crazy okay you can't really see what i got going on let me move this up okay maybe this is better yeah okay uh, giving gets five dollars. One, two, three, four, five. Alrighty, so moving on to my pink envelopes here. Emergency is getting five dollars. We can count how much we have now. All right. So an emergency envelope, and this is my cash emergency fund. Of course, I have my emergency fund and my high yield savings account, but this is strictly for cash. And my goal is $500 for this, but I just save a little at a time whenever I can. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So I have $160 in my emergency fund. Okay. And then next, gifts. Um, I left my gift money on my card and I went ahead and purchased my dad's birthday gift with that money so this is not getting any cash household goods actually has a leftover guys because since i did go home i didn't worry about couponing or anything um i said i just do it when i got back but i have my friendship staycation so i may wait until next weekend and then i film a coupon with me video um, about that but I am putting another $20 so total is 45 in household date night is getting nothing and my miscellaneous <gasps> y'all I have money I need to go to my parents house all the time what I have more money that's crazy. I'm so excited. <laughs> so that is the goal, to keep money in my envelopes, okay? And we, I put that to the side with the ones that we had earlier. And this $5 we are putting in miscellaneous. Yay, that makes me so happy. So that is all for our cash envelope wallet. <laughs> Now moving on to our, why do I have so much money? Ooh, this don't feel right.
and I think it probably doesn't feel right because I got a little bit of extra money in my paycheck since I stopped my 401k contribution so yeah this is gonna take some getting used to and I did withdraw some funds that weren't from my paycheck and I'll explain why right now so this is my sinking funds binder. Sinking funds are when you save a little bit at a time for things that are hard to cash flow, such as like Christmas, holidays, birthdays, etc. So here's my envelope for that. Tithe is the 10% that I give back to God through giving to the church or through some or to someone in need. So I give 10% of my income each paycheck. So this is $200. And next paycheck, I will increase it to 210 since I am receiving a little bit of extra funds. I do not count this envelope, but let me explain to you what had happened with... So we had a little mishap with our grocery order. So we order groceries through Instacart. We don't go grocery shopping anymore because what is that? No. It's funny because neither one of us like grocery shopping. So the pandemic has changed our lives in that way where we're like, whoa, we should have always been ordering groceries. This is the life, you know, make me feel like I'm rich or something because I felt like that was only for rich people. Anywho, I don't know where I was going with that. But <laughs> okay, <laughs> so there was a mishap and we used the wrong card, right? Yeah. So I had to figure out where the money was coming from groceries. And this is my thickest envelope, like my money with the largest bills, the most money in it. So I had to borrow from my ties envelope, which is something I would typically like not do, but I really had to. And the groceries were like $227. So I'm replacing that with some tax money that I received. No, I'm not cash stuff in my tax refund because the rest of the money went towards my wedding. Wedding, wedding, wedding. You guys know that. All my money is going towards that. <laughs> and if you don't, let me tell you, all my money is going towards the wedding right now. And we're getting married in October. So all of that will, it will come here before we know it, seriously. So of this money, $227 goes back to replenish what I took from my tithe envelope. So just one second, let me fix that in here because I do not count this envelope. That's between me and the good Lord, baby Jesus. I'll probably like cut through this and if I don't it's because I don't feel like editing it <laughs> okay that's my ties Zeta Phi Beta gets $20 and I also do not count this envelope finer woman is getting nothing this go around I don't even think she has anything in her Yo, she has $20. Okay. Babe's birthday gets $25. His birthday is in May. It will be here before I know it. All right. And he has 20, 40, 60, 81, 5, 10. Why is that like Okay. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 25, 30, 35, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. So he has 160 in his birthday envelope. And I would actually be gifting him a solo trip to somewhere of his choosing. So I'll probably pay for like the hotel or wherever he decides to go. And he also has 25 in his babe envelope. That's like if I just want to do something random for him, that is what that is there for. Anniversary gets nothing because wedding, right? 
Valentine's Day gets nothing because wedding, right? <laughs> Saving challenges. So I'm actually putting this $8 of our rollover money into my savings challenge envelope. And uh, I'm not going to count this until I film my, what is it? My Saturday savings video. Okay. So then you can see the total I saved for the month of March. Bath and Body Works gets $30. So excited about that. So that's 30. And it has a total of 20, 35, 6. Clothes is getting nothing. And it currently has one, two, three, four. Four dollars. What can I buy with four dollars? No worries, it's gonna add up. Tech is getting five. And this is my first five inside of my tech folder, which is great. I just wanted to have something in it, honestly. And hopefully by the end of the year, I could purchase a MacBook Air, cause that's my goal. That's what I want. Family Goals is getting nine. One, two, three, four. So this is $9. My goal for this is like 200 and some dollars. I don't know the exact amount, but I'm trying to save this by December. So I have plenty of time for that. This is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 53 dollars that has added up quickly i just started saving for family goals in january so that is awesome we are like one fourth of the way there my ra actually gets 40 dollars but in my budget it's only 20 and this is because the paycheck before this one, I never put the $20 in here. So I just needed to take it out the bank to put into my envelope. We have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80, $200 in my IRA. My goal is $1,000 and then I'll go put it into my investment account. So that is all for my sinking funds and I still have money up. This $2 is supposed to go in my savings challenge money as well. Forgot about that. So why do I have money there? 20, 40, 60, I know where that goes. 5, 10, 15. Okay, so 75 of this, 20, 40, 60, 65, 75, goes towards LJ soccer fee. I decided to pay half with my paycheck and the other half I withdrew from his savings, his LJ savings account, um, to get the $100 fee for soccer. So I'm actually going to, this is his You Are My Sunshine binder. I'm actually going to put this 75 into his soccer. His soccer fund here. Why do I have 25 extra dollars? Hmm. Something ain't right. Twenty-five, 
so let me look over here and see if I can figure out where this $25 goes. Huh. So food, we put 100, LJ gets 20. Mine was 110. Miscellaneous envelope. So I did the 110, LJ, food, ties. Miscellaneous envelope got five. Emergency envelope got five. Household got 20. Z5B 20. Babe's birthday 25. LJ's birthday gets $20. Yeah. LJ's birthday gets $20. I knew I was missing something. He currently has 20, 40, 60, 85. And my goal for him is $500. His birthday is December 15th. So we have time. Okay, so I did pull out an extra $5, like I said earlier. I honestly don't know where I want this $5 to go. Let's see how much he has in his clothes envelope. He has 20, 45. 51. Part of me either wants to put this as miscellaneous since I'm having the staycation. Then part of me wants to put it in his clothes envelope because seasons are changing. Ugh. Sometimes I just hate doing the responsible thing. So I'm just going to put it. <laughs> I really do. I'm going to put it oh, in his clothes envelope. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Uh, yep. Okay. So that is all for my cash stuffing video. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment below, talk to me, talk to me, as well as follow me over on my Instagram at temps.thoughts. Check out my website for this awesome savings challenge workbook. I don't think you can see everything. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely check me out on everything. But until next time, thank you for joining me. Thank you, family. Bye.